today I will show you how to install your blind chain controller. First thing you have to do is check if your blind connector reaches the bottom of the cord. To do this, pull the blinds all the way down and check if the blind connector reaches this place. And here it is. If your cord connector reaches the bottom, you will have to replace it with the thinner metal connector provided in the accessories pack. If your cord connector doesn't reach bottom when your blinds are all the way up or down, you can leave it as it is. Next step is to choose the best gear for your pull cord. To do this, we have to simply take one of them and put it on our motor. To put it on the motor, you have to first remove the back of it, like this. When I have it like this, you have to put the wheel right here. Next step is to put it on the cord and check if it works smooth. It's not bad, but it's not perfect. Let's check different wheel. As you can see, this one is much better. When you found the perfect wheel for your cord, you can now close the back of the motor. Now we can attach our mounting plate. It is important to, to not put it on the maximum up or down, but over the CE and FCC logo, because we can adjust it later. Now find the position where you want to locate your motor. You can choose side mount or back mount. When you found your perfect position for the motor, you have to remove the motor and leave the mounting plane in place. To do this, push the button up on the bottom of the motor and slide it up. Now, using the pen, make the mark where the mounting plate will be attached. There are two ways you can mount your mounting plate to the wall, using screws or 3M type. We recommend to use the screws because they are more secure. Now we can attach our motor. If you'd like to set your top limit and bottom limit, first thing you have to do is press and hold the middle button. Now press the up button and when your blind is all the way up, stop it using this the same button. Just like that. If you want to set up the bottom limit, press and hold the middle button. When in flashing red, press down button. And when it will be all the way down, stop it using the same middle button. Now top limit and bottom limit are set up. To pair up your remote, press and hold middle button on your motor. When it starts flashing red, push the top button on your remote. To pair a motor with your app, you need to first turn on the pairing mode, holding these two buttons. When it starts flashing, it's ready to pair. Now turn on your Smart Life app. Click Add Device. Search for Small Home Appliances. Find Curtain Wi-Fi. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Make sure it's 2.4. Then confirm indicator is blinking rapidly. Blinking quickly. And wait. The device is now powered. Done. Now we can check if it if everything works. We can open the blinds and close. In the app you can also set schedules. You can also set sunrise and sunset automations. To do it, 
go to scene on the bottom, create scene, click on when weather changes, click on sunset and sunrise, click sunrise, save, next, choose task and device. save yes to pair your Amazon Alexa app go to Alexa click more skills and games search to uh, smart click on smart life enable to use Agree and link. Alexa, open the blinds. <laughs>